In the past days, typical applications for thermal detectors were light switches and burglar alarms. But the times have changed. Today you can find more and more devices using motion detectors. I guess also you have discovered how useful it can be to know the presence of people around your device. But did you distinguish presence from motion until now? No, you should, and I will show you how. We start off with a 32 times 16 pixel thermopile array called Kulai. A presumably simple scene is recorded where a person is crossing an empty room. Since people are warm objects, they are literally glowing in the far infrared. But the raw data reveals that they are not the only objects which are emitting infrared radiation. If we apply a low-pass filter on the empty scene, we can clearly identify lamps, windows and reflections of those. This so-called background must be subtracted prior to data analysis in order to be able to detect moving warm objects. Only then a person will clearly stick out from the background. A further threshold analysis combined with cluster search algorithms is then able to identify, count and track warm moving objects in the room. Even when the object is not moving, we can sense the presence of the person as long as he was moving before resting. However, the strong demand of miniaturized sensors makes the use of lens-based systems more and more challenging. So we ask ourselves if we can do similar things with only one thermopile pixel and no spatial information at all. Our answer to that was the Calipile, which will be compared in the following with a traditional pyroelectric sensor placed behind a compact multifocal Fresnel lens. Both sensors were facing straight into the room. To take the very wide field of view of the calipile into account, an extremely short focal length for the video was required. As an overlay, you can see on the left side the raw data of the calipile chip. The right diagram is the band pass filter data of the pyroelectric sensor as it is used for threshold analysis in real applications. The multifocal Fresnel lens of the pyroelectric sensor scrambles the room into small zones where the person is visible to the sensor. That results in a clear modulation of the signal. The Calipile without the lens is sensitive to the total radiation of the room. Moving from one side to the other generates one large amplitude. The larger the distance, the smaller the amplitudes become in both sensors. But also the modulation speed is decreasing. Now we observe the so-called presence analysis branch in the sensor. The raw data is passed through two low-pass filtering stages. The first filter has a time constant of 1 second and the second one a time constant of 8 seconds. The difference of both is background subtracted signal, which can be discriminated in order to generate an interrupt. The green curve must only be as fast as any background we want to suppress. The red one must follow the signal of a person moving into the field of view. The difference between both will eventually exceed the threshold and generate an interrupt. The sign of the value determines if a person was approaching or leaving the field of view. The response of the sensor can be improved by execution of the so-called host optimization code. Once an interrupt was generated, the host sets the filter to short time constants. The sensor will adapt quickly to the new situation. This mode of operation is the most secure and recommended one. It works with many conditions giving you the information if a person is approaching or stepping back from the sensor. It even works with several people in the room since a crowd will be regarded as background and only individuals will be noticed when approaching the sensor. However, yet we do not sense presence. In certain conditions you can perform an absolute threshold analysis by using the over-temperature feature of the sensor. Once a person was discovered to enter the field of view, the last background condition can be remembered and set as the threshold. Since this is a passive sensor, this mode will work only in certain stable conditions where background is not changing significantly over time.
The host will be interrupted only when the person is leaving the scene again. You may wish to place the sensor behind a cover such as polyethylene. Glass is unfortunately not transparent in the far infrared. Once sealed the sensor in your application, you should expose the sensor to difficult conditions in your application. Here we place the sensor overnight in front of an open window. To find out the best setting for your sensor, perform some measurements. The low pass filter should be set to a relatively small value, just fast enough to give you the response you desire. You can suppress fast motion with longer constants. The second low pass value should be chosen as long as possible, but fast enough to keep up with the environmental changes. You may select different modes of operation. We recommend to start with the subtraction of the second low pass filter from the first one. Observe the difference between both, which is regarded as a presence value. You may set already a threshold, which you assume to be a good one, and do not forget to enable the interrupt, so that you can observe the false triggers over time. Click left on the presence graph to open the value distribution and toggle the zoom by clicking into the histogram. Like in this example of a 44 micrometer thick polyethylene cover in front of an open window, a threshold of 10 counts was found to be optimal. So let's see how the sensor is performing. We have placed markers on the floor along straight lines originating in the sensor's position. The angle between those lines is 45 degrees. The markers are at distances of 1, 2 and 3 meters. The sensitivity range is illustrated with a red circle. The sensitivity is dropping with increasing angles, so that the maximum distance can be reached only at 0 degree. Due to Lambert's physical law, you have to expect drop down of 50% at an angle of 60 degree. We use the so-called presence analysis branch in the host optimized mode where only an approach or leaving can be sensed. The longest distance achieved was 3 meters. For longer distances, a lens must be used. So still a pyroelectric sensor is the best choice for long distance sensing above 3 meters. Below, the Calipal is a very good and compact alternative to the pyroelectric sensor. We strongly encourage you to evaluate our sensors yourself and discuss your findings together with us.